Lieutenant, I was told Dave Ward has gone AWOL. Any idea where he is? Sorry, Cap. I haven't got the slightest clue. I see. This is bad. I have no choice but to declare him a deserter. I'm afraid there'll be gossip that you can't earn the respect of your men, and the Army's reputation will take another hit. I warned you to keep your head down, Lieutenant. I don't know what you did, but Colonel Victor was having you tailed during your missions, and now? He's got a shitload to say about it, and none of it's good. I tried defending you, but the things he's saying? You defuse the rebellion, but in a way that makes you seem pretty pro-mutant. Now, I told you myself, I'd give you a chance to explain, but you better talk quick. In the ASC, there's zero tolerance for mutant sympathy. And if you don't have a different version to tell, Victor's hinting at collateral damage. I don't know what's going on. Someone's trying to bring me down, and they're lying to Victor to do it. Only thing I used to calm the rebellion was a little reason and logic, which the rebels heard. Anything accusing me of anything else is a lie. All right. Fair enough. But you'll have to make your case to him as well. Victor also states you voluntarily jeopardized the lives of the officials you were charged with protecting. Wanna explain that? How do I explain something that's not... If I put those officials' lives in more danger, I'd have been risking my men's lives and mine as well. Why would I do that? And the claims that you've been hiding vital intel for the sole benefit of your fellow Technomancers. Like an important research site on the Shadow Path of Aurora that didn't even register a line item in your reports? Captain, the only thing I've ever done is accomplish the missions you gave me. Nothing more, nothing less. Never concealed anything, or had any other interest but abundances at the forefront. This is unfair. I know what you've accomplished. Also know what he's saying. And even if he's not a fan of Technomancers, that alone wouldn't motivate him to make all this up to frame you. And the list of accusations and the details is long. Like your report on the deserters. Less truth than lies. Almost more lies than ink. Never would have expected it from you, Lieutenant. Captain, if I was in your shoes, I'd feel the same. But take a step back. All those missions you sent me on, all the success I brought back to you. Whatever the Colonel's after, it's not about my actions. There's gotta be something else. I don't know, Lieutenant. I'm caught in the middle. And something in me feels there's more to it, too. Whether what he's saying is true or not, don't know what you did to piss him off. To make yourself his target, Technomancer or not. It's beyond me. Unfortunately, he's already called you in and I can't stop it. All I can tell you is watch your mouth. Behave like the soldier you've been since you joined my company and you'll come out just fine. I'll plead in your favor if it comes down to that. Let's just hope it doesn't. Get going. The Colonel's waiting. Good luck. Zachariah, I was scared we were too late. For what? What's going on? There's no time to talk about it. You're in danger. Victor called you in, didn't he? Yeah, wants to talk to me about- No, he doesn't. It's a trap. It's just an excuse to get you there so they can arrest you. They will do whatever necessary to make you talk. I don't know what you technomancers are hiding, but he's ready to do anything to find out. He's got power, but he would- Zach, listen to the girl. You stay away from that man. The crook, the, the, the pig- Thanks, Scott. You need to listen to us, Zachariah. I know it's hard to hear, but if you stay here, you're gonna die. Where would I even... We take a rover and go. The town's filled with ASC looking for you now, but I know a rover to help us avoid most of the troops. Let's go, Zach. We need to go with the girl. No time to waste before that... that... that madman gets his hands on you. Now! Looks like Victor knew you were on your way out. His men are everywhere. Unconscionable! The nerve! You have done nothing!
avoid the train station. Know how many soldiers they have waiting for Let's head toward the barracks. The only place they won't expect us to go.
Here we go. All right. Get him. I guess I didn't think we could all the way up here. Well, we gotta keep moving fast. Let's get to the shed. Turn on. We're not here to damage the equipment. We're here to stop a terrorist. So get out of the way, now! Damn it, they're already here. Who the fuck do you think you are? It's my warehouse, you prick. If there was a terrorist here, I'm pretty sure I'd have seen his ass lurking around. So you're gonna... Hey! Make yourself at home. Lieutenant, sorry to ruin the surprise. But your little mission ends here. Stop the traitor! <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 
No! Don't kill him! You, you are driving. Get us out of Ophir now. Fine. Everyone in the rover. Okay, Zach? In one day, I find out Victor used everything I did as an officer against me, and I end up chased by my own people. Then one of my own soldiers turns out to be ASC, and I get involved in the armed robbery of a rover owned by my childhood corporation. Yeah, I'm doing okay, Misha. Surely the young lady would not be taking this to an imaginary risk. I mean, rovers are amazing machines, but certainly they cannot transport one from the bounds of reality and reason. I am not keen on leaving abundance. Noctis is an amazing city, Scott. It's as real as Ophir, but more amazing than anything you've ever seen before. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sure. Full of fairies and... and... balderdash. Listen, Amelia. I'm sorry things went down the way they did. We didn't have a choice, though. The ASC after us and not a lot of time. Thanks for taking us wherever it is we're going. Thanks for the thanks, but it doesn't change the fact I still want to see your asshole head on a stake at some point. <laughs> Shit, look what that stupid creature did to my baby! The engine's fucked! I don't know why I hear this. You didn't even leave me spare parts. You really... An ostrich. No doubt about it, it's a wild ostrich. Look, you see the spikes on its back? Unfortunately, the poor animal died, but I'm almost sure that... Well, according to the sky, we don't have much time before sunrise. Fortunately, we're not very far away. We better get a move on. It's a pretty good idea, because, as I was about to tell you, these creatures are social. They rarely travel alone. We might find ourselves in the middle of a herd, and an angry ostrich can be very dangerous. Very good. Wanna guide us, Nisha? And Amelia, leave that rover alone. As you said, you won't be able to fix it. And if you stay, you'll die. Isn't that what that bitch wanted? That I die? I hate you all. Stop it. We never wanted you to die. We need you. I know that you love that machine, but there's no time to cry over it. Come on.
Trying to open the roof. You up there! Stop! Stop! It's Nisha! Listen to me! Stop! We'll take care of the creatures! I'm sorry, Nisha! I didn't. I'm stopping right now! But I'll only be able to open the doors for you once the area is completely secured! <laughs> If I weren't one to be wary of all corporate rejects, I might be elated. Do you feel it, Zachariah? We are about to enter a legendary city. Outcasts. Get used to it, old pal. That's us too now. Nisha! I'm so glad to see you. We were starting to get worried about you. The news from Ophir sounded a little chaotic. You look healthy. Worried? About me? Give me some credit. Let me introduce you to Zachariah Manser. He's the reason why I'm here. Look at that. The Technomancer who saved us from the Vori. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Happy to see you again. Now I understand why the Prince was insistent. I want to see you as soon as possible. The Prince? Dandolo. He rules our city. If I were you, I wouldn't keep him waiting. He loses patience quickly. There's nothing like fresh news for him to be on pins and needles. But don't worry, he's a charming man, and he loves Nisha. Very well, I'll go see him. Happy to see you in one piece, Zachariah. Beg? I feel like I got ripped off. Apologies, we were forced to improvise. Playing a simpleton is a great way to avoid attention when you are a mutant. You can go see the prince now, but come back later. There's something I would like to discuss. I will be near the sand sails. Wait a... Your name's Andrew, isn't it? We went to the Academy together. But didn't we... I overheard you talking to Master Connor after I brought him to meet you. I guess you overheard. Very well. Come find me once you've met with the Prince. We'll talk about it. Go now. Don't keep him waiting. <laughs> 